what is happening guys welcome back to another episode of Redbeard's garage we're going to be working on the diesel dingo today uh, on the last episode you saw us do a stack and an open air filter just to see if we could squeeze a little bit of power out of the stock platform and of course it didn't really make that big of a difference it's still rolling coal and everything uh, so it definitely has enough fuel so what we're going to do in today's episode is we have a second one of these diesels so we're going to use it on the workbench strip down the gas tank air filter and exhaust and start mounting up a turbo on it to see if this little engine will spool up a turbo it does have a crazy amount of compression for a small engine uh, so we're hoping it will help spool that turbo and we're also going to weight up the cvt pulleys just a little bit uh, with some washers and a heavier bolt to see if that helps them fling out earlier which will get us a little bit more top speed and a lower engagement hopefully where that torque is coming in uh, you know at a better rpm so let's jump on the workbench and get this thing uh, installed so like we said guys we're going to pull the air filter the exhaust and the gas tank off we're going to have to uh, pinch off this fuel line because it is full of diesel and i do think this little fuel pump is leaking back into the case because we did put a half a quart of oil in this and if we pull this drain plug it'll start spewing out a real watery oil so i'm pretty sure diesel is getting inside of this uh, so we might pull this engine apart later just see what's going on with this pump how it works i'm guessing it's driven off the cam gear which pumps fuel up through this line right here into the injector uh, but we'll dissect this one on a separate episode uh, so yeah we're going to get this stuff pulled off and find out how to mount our baby turbo i already have made me a few like an exhaust uh, adapter as well as the exhaust in and we got the uh, charge side out to the engine this is actually a 420 exhaust flange fit on there perfect this is a 212 Makuni adapter the actual part that hooks to a vm 22 millimeter uh Makuni. and then we'll be able to run a one and a half inch stack out of this flange here uh, from the the dump side so we're going to get that mounted up directly on top of there somewhere kind of where the gas tank is sitting guys i'm going to take a real quick break to shout out the sponsor of today's video which is blaster this is their surface shield rust protectant this stuff will last up to two years when you apply it there's no dripping no swelling of the product if you have anything that you use outdoors mowers trailers or even the frame of your car this stuff is going to work wonders especially if you're up north applying this stuff is super easy just shake the can spray it right on the exposed metal you can spray over paint if you like over brake lines over fuel lines anything it's not going to hurt it it's a real safe product to use it also has a nice cedar smell the stuff is really great it's going to keep your frames protected for two years so even if you have a go-kart frame that you don't have time to paint like every one of our go-kart frames you can spray it down with surface shield and you have no worries thing is going to stay minty fresh for up to two years so make sure to check out the links in the video description to the line of all blaster products we use everything in our shop on a daily basis and we love them and uh, we hope you guys will check them out thank you guys and let's get back to the video Now, since this engine does not have a pressurized oil system on it, we're gonna be using this uh, carburetor fuel pump. Now, this will only do about seven or eight PSI, but that's all we're gonna need for this turbo. It ain't like we're spooling it, you know, to 9,000 RPMs. So this seven to nine PSI is gonna be plenty for our turbo. So this will run from an oil tank that we're gonna mount on the chassis and come out of the oil tank into this filter, come out of here and go in the top of the turbo. And on these turbos, you always want the feed in to be coming in the top and the dump uh, pointed straight down. And we'll just return this with a half inch bung back into an aluminum oil can.
All right, so this is the 30 series juggernaut pulley. We're gonna use a, a number 10 Allen. Pull this out. Top bail comes right off. She's a little dirty. Now we have a five mil Allen and a 10 mil uh, nut on this. What we're gonna do is replace it with these longer bolts and eight washers uh, per bolt. So we'll have four on each side and that will give us nine grams more uh, per roller. So maybe that nine, I don't think the nine grams is gonna change a massive difference, but what it'll do is, uh, I mean, I'm looking for four or 500 RPM different possibly in this. All right, so everything's done. We put a flapper because it was much requested. Uh, it's gonna be annoying, but everybody wants to see it, so we did it. Uh, mounted Brad Hill made this gas tank back in the day for a Little Red, the original Little Red, so that's pretty cool. Now we have a Milwaukee M12 battery that's running this uh, fuel pump is our oil pump, and she's pumping oil through there. So, first start, we have not started it. adjusted the throttle black smoking like a son of a gun yes. which is great <laughs> this is super exciting our brakes don't work that great but uh we're hoping to get i would be pumped if i yeah we got trees that's why we bought woods <laughs> uh i would be excited if i seen 20 mile per hour boost gauge this is an air pressure gauge from Royal King five dollar boy it takes off lower moments later all right so i did a little spin it's definitely making more power or getting more rpms i don't know which one i mean i know it's making more rpms but it's not a ton it seems like it's engaging lower which we wanted uh but now it's clacking pretty hard we're hoping it's a fuel pump not a rod but we'll see what happens we got the boost cam on the back we'll see <laughs>
making like three psi so she's working it did just die but it sounds good so i think i was over, i'm overpowering the governor because we had to put a second return spring on the throttle mechanism because it wanted to stick the throttle so i can overpower it by like five six hundred rpms which is fine it's for a good time you all right now huh our flapper flew apart chinese we need to put lock nuts on it it felt like compression is really low yep. like there's We might have blown her. <laughs> it's white smoking like a son of a gun now. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. It 100% makes more power. Not like nothing that's going to blow your mind. But she's fun though. It revs higher. It's way better. That thing definitely would not cut a donut like that last time. It didn't have enough power to break the back end loose. Now it, it skid right around. It's making something. I don't know whether it's three, it might, it's just a cheap gauge. So not sure exactly how much it makes. It's definitely making something though. Look at the smoke rings. Can you see them? Well guys, the turbo diesel Dingo is actually making boost. It's doing like around three to five PSI and you can actually hear the turbo spool up on the GoPro and in person. It's not like crazy loud because at the end of the day, we don't have a ton of load on this and it's only probably around 3,500 RPMs. But the problem that you saw us have when we thought we had rod knock is one of the valves is sticking open. Now I don't know if we can put a little heavier valve spring to see if that helps, but the we pulled the valve cover off and the exhaust valve seems to be sticking just the tiniest bit and we did reset the valve lash because it was at like ten thousandths uh, on both valves so we tightened those up to four thousandths so we'll see if that helps in a future video but definitely let us know what you think about this thing in the comment section below we've been reading your comments people are saying to put uh, the little air canister on it so it almost has like a reservoir for boost 
uh, boosted boys did that on a, a later or an earlier video on their channel so we may try that let us know what you want us to do with this di diesel dingo uh, we got a lot of diesels going on we got the diesel deuce behind me and now we got the diesel dingo uh, but it actually does make boost we're going to do a better boost gauge on it this was just cheap you know really quick for the video but we're going to buy a liquid filled one so we can cancel out the vibrations and see what it's actually doing but i know it's at least making three psi which is just awesome and it's definitely faster the thing picks up and goes way quicker i don't know if you guys can tell from the video but it for sure does uh when you're in person with it so make sure to check out those links in the video description we've linked everything that we use on this dingo uh, this thing's been a ton of fun and we want to know what you guys want us to do with it next uh, let us know the crazy ideas the cool ideas whatever you got let us know we're going to be reading them and we're going to pick some of your ideas and and do them to it because this thing is just too cool to uh, put under a tarp so thank you guys so much for watching we love you and god bless